In this tutorial, I'll explain you the basic 60-30-10 color rule with some great designing examples and show you how to create magic applying the same rule in our very own design template. Let's begin. What is the 60-30-10 color rule? The 60-30-10 color rule is basically 60% is your dominant hue. This is mostly a neutral palette. 30% is secondary color. This can be complementary. And 10% is for accent color. Together, this 100% of the color makes a particular layout aesthetically pleasing. So why do designers use more than 3 color work perfectly fine? Because the rule is not hard and fast. But if you look at great designs with color ratio, it falls in place. For example, we have this design with more than three colors. So now uh, the color palette is as follows. So now you can see this is aesthetically pleasing, but you would say why it is not using three colors and still looking aesthetically pleasing. So we have just uh, uh, made three particular boxes in the ratio 60, 30, 10. I'll show you if you look at from that perspective, this is nothing but a 60, 30, 10 ratio color grid. Like let's say we have two dominant hues that is basically the neutral use which comprises the majority of the entire layout so let's say this is one of the you we'll copy it we'll have another half of this which two colors are the neutral use that these people have used as the background color which is which comprises of the 60 percent so white and gray that we have the second uh, 30 percent is nothing but the blue that these people have used the navy blue and they have used this color as the accent which is the cta and these people also have used a neutral tone of cyan along with the blue which we will also use and i'll show you uh, how the ratio works So as you can see, again, the 60% is nothing but these two colors, which is the majority. The 30% is nothing but the cyan and the blue and the accent color is used as a 10%. That is the reason why it is looking aesthetically pleasing. Similarly, we have uh, another set of design here where you can see multiple colors being used. So here we have two different uh, uh, color palette and majority of this. So let's let's go with this particular layout where we are using again two colors, which is one one is white and one is a gray, which is let's say half of this. This comprises of uh, uh, the three or the two colors that we have or the three colors that we have which is majority which is blue uh, which is blue red and yellow so let's divide this by three And this finally is the accent color that these people have used which is the minimal color. So this is basically nothing but uh, the same color in a proportion of 60, 30, 10. And the same we have a reversed kind of. So in the reverse what they did is they just swapped the yellow which these people are using as the entirely entire yellow here. Again, in the latter half, these people have used grey in terms of yellow, which has proven to be an accent color. These people have skipped blue altogether. These people are using some accents of uh, blue and... So just two colors that, that have been used.
and the main 10% which is nothing but the darker shade of blue yeah so this this makes uh, r6030 10 ratio complete in this particular format as well similarly let's go to one of our other palette which is nothing but this suitcase website that we came across there are just three colors in this one and uh, as you see if you if you look at the ratio it is nothing but uh, the white becomes the primary source so let's let's ignore the colors of the product because then product uh, eventually comprises of different colors so you cannot control those so let's take the basic layout white becomes a major thing the black becomes a secondary uh, color and the accent color becomes yellow and this is the ratio that you would see just to combine this is also another thing so let's let's even take the inverse pro proportion so let's see how this colors are acting so here we know that this grey is the main grey that we have used also this people have used white in uh, like in in accordance with the grey so we, we just divide it by two we just take this palette as white as well so this becomes a majority which is a 60 percent then we get a mix and merge of both so let's uh, let's consider this as the secondary so here also they have uh, split it in two forms and the primary which is the cta button uh, is has been used as the darker gray similarly they have used a inverse set of the same so here they have used a black as majority in this layout they have also used another set of uh, uh, green again there are two colors that these people have used is the inverse one And the final one is the white color, which is nothing but the complementary of black that these people have used. So that is basically the inverse ratio. So here, as you can see, we have uh, uh, we can develop a complete color palette based on this ratio, and then use it in our art form as well. They're very easy kind of rules. So here we have used a color palette uh, uh, which we took from one of the leading website that is Color Lovers. I've made a video of websites that provide free color palette. I'll attach the link in the description and over here. So now we have a layout which is like very colorful and very cluttered. So what we will do is we will try to make it uh, soothing and we will try to match this particular color palette into this section and see how it works in the same uh, room. Let's keep this as a reference. So here what we will do is we will try to have first this particular ratio in which uh, the accent colors are 3 you can use the shades of accent color or you can use the gradients as well so let's see how uh, if we have gradients how will it look let's first combine with the accent so the secondary color is nothing but this so we have the secondary color in place we have the primary color in place and the tertiary color is nothing but the yellow and on top of it we will again use this so now it is looking much better than this colorful thing but now uh, even if we have used this we are still missing out on something so let's see how how we could make it better we could we could add some gradient maybe so let's say we, we add some linear gradient one so we use the darkest color and here we use the lightest one among them okay we can also adjust the gradient we 
be better let's see if we use this how will it look or oh, it is looking better the legibility is way better let's use this way better than this one more rule of thumb is that never use anything other than uh, uh, dark blue black or white in case of dark background for body copy because our eyes are very habitual to this so let's go to the second panel here it is way colorful and we don't want this so let's let's keep it monotone and see how it works So let's let's keep a lighter shade and then put a darker shade on top or maybe a little more darker so this is all on experiment but then you at least know that you have a color palette that that goes well and then you can experiment on top just to differentiate it a bit and to create a hierarchy we can use a tint for the same so let's see we, we are using this tint so let's continue this yellow which is like our primary color which we used and it is way better than what we started we can compare yeah mm, let's see how we can do this particular section what i was thinking is maybe we can use a darker tint and we can maybe try to mix and match and see how things work out and rather than putting so many colors i was thinking why not uh, have blue as a secondary one much better is it legible i guess yeah that is enough legible So now we have this uh, illustration as well. Let's see how we can make it pop. Let's use the blue here. What we'll do is we'll use the yellow, which is basically nothing but the CTA. We like to keep consistency across the entire thing, so then the CTA pops. So now we don't have any reds in our uh, artboard. The best way to do this is that you just have to mark the reds. So here I've added it in the color palette, and you can directly uh, edit it and uh, replace it with something else. Replace it with yellow, maybe. Or if you want to pop it out a little bit, you can replace it with any other color. Like you can replace it with neutrals. Then it becomes too neutral. Mm. So let's see. Let's let's keep it something like no too dull, right? Let's keep it yellow. I guess that that do the trick. We can also add a tinge of uh, another shade of black. Use a little bit of a shade of the originally existing grey. So let's let's see. Maybe we can put a shirt as yellow and maybe pant as some neutral color. So there it is. So way cleaner than the previous one. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. If this video provides a valuable lesson, the next video will give you a free website to choose your color palette from different methods. Check it here.